Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that reception. What an amazing reception. We did it. You campaigned for it. You fought for it. You voted for it. And now it has arrived. Change begins now. And it feels good, I have to be honest. Four and a half years of work changing the party. This is what it is for. A changed Labour Party, ready to serve our country, ready to restore Britain to the service of working people. But a mandate like this comes with a great responsibility. Our task is nothing less than renewing the ideas that hold this country together. National renewal. Whoever you are, wherever you started in life, if you work hard, if you play by the rules, this country should give you a fair chance to get on. It should always respect your contribution and we have to restore that. I don't promise you it will be easy. Changing a country is not like flicking a switch. It's hard work, patient work, determined work. And we will have to get moving immediately. We said we would end the chaos, and we will. We said we would turn the page, and we have. Today we start the next chapter, begin the work of change, the mission of national renewal, and start to rebuild our country. Thank you. On this difficult night, I'd like to express my gratitude to the people of the Richmond and North Allerton constituency for your continued support. Since I moved here a decade ago, you have made me and my family feel so at home, and I look forward to continuing to serve as your Member of Parliament. It is an enormous privilege. I'm grateful to my agent and constituency team, and I congratulate my opponents here on the energetic and very good-natured campaigns that they have run. The Labour Party has won this general election, and I have called Sir Keir Starmer to congratulate him on his victory. Today, power will change hands in a peaceful and orderly manner, with goodwill on all sides. That is something that should give us all confidence in our country's stability and future. The British people have delivered a sobering verdict tonight. There is much to learn and reflect on, and I take responsibility for the loss. To the many good, hard-working Conservative candidates who lost tonight, despite their tireless efforts, their local records of delivery, and their dedication to their communities, I am sorry. I will now head down to London where I will say more about tonight's result before I leave the job of Prime Minister, to which I have given my all. I will then return here, to my family's home, and I look forward to spending more time with you all in the weeks, months and years ahead. Thank you.